Well, hello. Thank you for all of you who um, are faith who faithfully watch this. It is Friday again, and uh, yeah, I can't believe the week went by um, so fast. But it's good, right? It means that um, you know, living life. Usually, when it goes by fast, it means you're happy, right? <laughs> so, and a lot of that is because I um, try to incorporate and maintain good habits. I am happy to uh, to say that I'm plugged into some really positive people. I'm in a coaching program, and we talk about this sort of thing. You know, it's just basically taking control of your life, waking up, and um, having a really good morning ritual. It's like the red car thing, like I had said before. As soon as you start doing it, you start noticing it everywhere. You also start uh, noticing that the more you try to improve yourself, you have uh, resistance and challenges and people that might be negative and. And uh, it's really important even more so that you uh, hold your ground. And so um, taking control of your life involves uh, getting up in the morning. Who is that right there? TJ, Sarah, I, hello, how are you? <laughs> and I think that it's always a good idea to, first thing is uh, get right up and don't um, pay attention to, don't snooze your alarm, just get right out of bed. That comes straight from Mostly Mel Robbins, the five second rule, but all of the, uh, the uh, mindset gurus say the same thing. So you get up and you know, remember what you're grateful for and write it down and, and journal if you uh, will or, and meditate, day, you know, whatever. Take at least a half an hour every morning. Don't let any outside distractions you know, get into your head because for me anyway, there's a lot of a lot of things going through my head when I first wake up and a lot of times it's what I thought about all night long. So again, that's even more important to make sure and go to sleep with a clear conscience or at least something positive. It's not always the easiest thing to do, but I, um, I'm on here because it's a daily habit that I have incorporated and I'm hoping to share you know, the successes and the experiences with other people and so that other people can be happy too. And is all part of uh, sharing and paying it forward and uh, doing good things for other people. Because what you put out there, you get back. If you've ever heard that, it's true. And it's not always easy, like I said, because you're gonna get a lot of challenges just in everyday life, especially like with your family, especially when you feel like you're doing um, so much good for other people and um, it's not received necessarily, but you gotta just move right past it and plug into as many positive people as you can and uh, try to practice as many positive, um, you know, daily habits that you can uh, and you'll find that uh, things will improve. And so that's why I come on here and I really appreciate those of you who are on here um, and participating and um, make life the best you can make it, be as positive as you can, be as successful as you can, because life is short, there's no guarantee for tomorrow. Um, so, uh, no matter what the issue is, you're, you're breathing, you know, hopefully you're clothed and you have shelter and uh, you have plenty of things to be grateful for just on the basic levels, you know, and um, even if you don't, some of the people in the worst situations ever have still managed to smile and be happy to be alive, you know, and so, um, yeah, that's about all I have to say today. And um, I plan on making the rest of the day a great one. And hopefully you're having an amazing Friday and you're going to have uh, a very wonderful weekend. Yeah, it's uh, October and it's Halloween time and it's, th it's uh, season change and it's, uh, it's a whole lot of that. So uh, make the best of it. Have an amazing day and stay in touch. And I look forward to talking with you again tomorrow. All right, take care.